to today's presentation. Melissa Armour is our host and presenter here today. I want to welcome the new folks who just joined us. Uh, uh, Dan, Philip, Jose, and others. Uh, let me scroll down here at the end. Ron just joined us. Javier, Mohammed, Sarb, S A R B, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is Online Trader Central. Welcome, David. Welcome, Benton. Adam is here with us, uh, everyone. Again, this is Online at Trader Central. Melissa Armo is your host and presenter today. We'll be starting promptly in about a minute. So, thank you again, everyone, and welcome. This is Online at Trader Central. Uh, the topic you can see one high income pain strategy. Again, Melissa Armo, your host and presenter today, is starting promptly in just about a minute. Thank you, everyone, again, and welcome. everyone and welcome and with the sound of the trumpet you know that means it's time to begin please put your hands together and welcome our host for today from the stock swish llc at stockswish.com please welcome. thank you kevin thanks so much everyone in online trader central welcome my name is melissa armo and i own a company called the stock swish llc Kathy has my information in the room. If you'd like to email me, if you have any questions after the webinar, you can feel free to reach out to me. Today's topic is going to be about one high income pain strategy. It's the strategy that I personally trade in the market. I only trade one strategy in the market. I do own a company. My company is called the Stock Swish LLC. If you'd like more information on that, you can go to my website at www.thestockswish.com. And again, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com as well if you would like more information. So we're going to talk about a career, a career where you make a high income. And to me, uh, someone living and working in the United States of America, a high income would be something of over six figures annually or more. And uh, so for anywhere that you live, it depends, obviously, uh, the cost of living. But I think making six figures a year working a short time a day, uh, which I do because I trade a strategy that sets up in the morning, is a pretty good living. And that's the strategy we're going to talk about. If you've been thinking about trading and you live outside of the United States, have you n thought about trading the U.S. markets? A lot of people do different things, Forex, other things like that. But I train equity gaps. I trade stocks, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I trade stocks in the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange in the U.S. stock market. And maybe you've been trading now, and you also have been trading the U.S. market, but you don't have a strategy. And this is something that's extremely important if you want to trade successfully. You need to have a focus, and the most important part, a piece of that focus is what strategy are you doing? When you get up out of bed every morning, you need to have a strategy that you're looking for as a setup in the market to trade. And maybe you're trading right now and you have a strategy and you're trading in the U.S. markets, but it doesn't make enough profits for you. And instead, it constantly leaves you needing and wanting more each day. I think the frustration that many traders find is that they want to make more money. There's a constant, constant focus on the money. And I will tell you that the more you focus on the money, the more difficult it will be for you and the less fun you will have trading. The goal is the money. That's the reason you trade. You have to take it seriously, of course. But the focus needs to be on what you're doing, the decisions you're making, which actually has to do with the stock itself and with the strategy. And maybe you, you wish that you knew a strategy that would just pay you more. And here was a gap that happened, and again, we're going to talk about this in a minute, uh, that happened back here in the middle of September. And look how it had a nice follow-through move. 
Now, I will say one thing before I get into it here. I like to day trade, okay? I take positions in stocks on the day. Uh, this whole bar here is one day's worth of trading. But you can do swing trades for overnights. So you see this to continue down lower. And you can hold them for longer periods. I personally like to do the day trades, and that's what we're going to focus on today. But the strategy that I am going to talk about can be used for swing trading or core trading, which is a nice aspect of it as well. And do you wish you knew how to make money consistently? You know, I talk to so many people, and they're up and down, they're up and down, they're all around. You've got to be consistent. Having one strategy to focus on keeps you consistent because you get up every morning and look for it, and, and you either find it or you don't. And do you want to earn more income than you are now, meaning let's say you are a profitable trader. Maybe you are making money in the stock market. You are trading equities, you're doing it. You're a day trader, a swing trader, core trader, but you want to earn more. And the strategy we're going to talk about has some nice momentum moves for the potential for you to earn more. And also, maybe you're at a certain age in your life where you're not doing as well as you feel you should be financially, and that's feeling frustrated. You know, I've, I've been there. You know, you get to a point where you say to yourself, gosh, you know, I wish I would be doing better than this by now. I felt like that in my mortgage job at one point before I transitioned into trading. And you kind of evaluate then your whole career and where you're at with things. And I chose to change careers. Now, for many people that are want to trade uh, as a career, if this is what you really want to do, you want to become a day trader as a career, uh, you have to get to a point where you evaluate where you're at right now in your current career, whatever it is, and if you're ready to make a transition to go to trading as a full-time career. The great thing about trading as a full-time career is it has an unlimited income potential. The more you risk, the more you will make. You cannot risk more until you know what to do. And that's why it's nice to have a strategy that you feel confident and conviction in that can pay you. The good thing, though, about GAPS, which is my strategy, which we're going to talk about in more detail here today, is that you could risk a small amount of money and still have the same risk to reward payout. But if you want to make more, you have to risk more. The great thing about trading for a living is, though, the longer the time goes on, the better uh, and more adept you should be at it. And so, therefore, you should make more money over time, the better you get. And maybe you've been trying to trade the markets, but you're just falling short. You're falling short of your goals, whatever they are. And again, you need someone like maybe me, who's, who's mentoring people. I just talked to a gentleman this afternoon uh, who's actually profitable. He was up money last month in September. And uh, he's talking to me about how he can make more. You know, everyone has goals. I think the most important thing is that I'm mentoring people actually that are profitable. It's great to have a problem where you want to make more and you're profitable <laughs> uh, when many people in the market are losing. However, you've got to set the goals for yourself. And having a strategy to focus on helps you do it. So maybe you're at this point in your life, you feel like it's time for you to make a change. Ultimately, we want to make money for what? What's the reason? What's the purpose to go out and buy lavish things? No, not really. Although it's fun. The reason we want to make changes in our lives, the reasons we want to make money is really to be happy. We don't really want the money itself. We could put it up in a pile next to us on our desk, and that's not going to really make you happy. The money, it's a vehicle to get you to where you want to be in your life to be happy. Okay, so you don't have to worry, so you don't have financial problems. And the time for you to start thinking about these things is now. The reality is you have to start somewhere. It's a good time because we're getting into the end of a fiscal year, and people say to themselves, did I make the money I wanted to make this year? Did I, am I actually making what I make in my job? Am I actually worth more than what I'm making? I mean, this is a good time to reevaluate. Don't wait until January 1st to start to think about your goals for 2015. And if you learn how to trade and start the process going into the end of this year, into 2015, 2015 could turn out to be a great year for me, for you. It's going to be a great year for me, obviously, I just said that. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm, I just decided to increase my risk. Uh, so that's probably why I said that. Anyways, it's a good time to start changing now, okay? So unlock the keys to your success with one high-paying strategy, and here's what we're going to talk about today. What is the high-paying income strategy? It is GAPS. Unlock the keys to your personal profit potential in the market. Learn how to trade one high-income paying strategy. It's GAPS. GAP trading is where the real money moves momentum of the market take hold. Trading GAPS makes it possible to trade for a living. I really don't think that there's any other strategy that you can consistently make the same risk to reward on 
as a day trader than gaps. How do I, why am I saying this? Because I've looked at everything. When I first started out, I, I tried and looked at everything. I could have focused on something else for the last six years of my life, but I decided to do gaps because I tried everything for weeks and months and realized that gaps was really where the money was. The thing that I want to point out to people, and if you take away from one thing today, there's just one thing you take away from my lecture here today, is that you only need to do one thing to make money as a trader. That's all you need. It may mean that some days you don't do anything at all, but that's okay. The idea of doing one thing consistently really helps you be the best that you can be, which is the level that I'm on and continuing to get higher. One quality strategy is all you need to pay yourself on a regular basis. Knowing one good strategy you can replicate over and over for profits can change your trading world. It can turn you from being a losing trader into a profitable trader. How do I know? I did it for myself, and I also am teaching people too. Having one powerful strategy that pays will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market because the market is designed for people that really are good to make money. That's the truth. Now, is everyone going to succeed in the market? No. Why? Everyone is not made, set out to do that. That's not their path. But it might be your path. It's my path. You have to ask yourself if this is your path, okay? The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. Professional gaps are a high income paying strategy. Now, let's talk about them. What really are gaps? What is a professional gap? This is the type of gap that I focus on. There are many, many, many gaps out there, okay? I focus on professional gaps. This is the one that makes the money in the market. A professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. Why is this so important? Because it is being made by institutional money call it professional money, whatever you want to call it, okay? That's where this name comes from. But that's what makes this so powerful, okay, when it takes hold into a stock. In the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock, therefore the stock was higher in the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are shorting the stock or selling out of it, therefore the stock moves lower on the trading day. Now, I prefer to look at the shorts. For anyone that has checked out any of my YouTube videos, I've talked about shorts all the time. I like to short. With the exception of the market, the market's long. But we are going to talk about one bullish gap today, okay, in one of the examples. But I like to short. I name my gap rating system the Golden Gap. Finding gaps that rate high per my system that are also professional gaps is like finding gold to me. They are professional gaps. That's what a Golden Gap is except for they are just gaps that have a high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large momentum move. Not every gap works on any given day. That's why I determine a system to pinpoint a criteria to hone it down to look at the ones that I felt were going to have a high odds of working on the day. It's really about probabilities, okay? Anything that can put the odds in your favor to trade will give you an edge. I've done that for myself. That doesn't mean that some days I don't take a loss. Sure, some days I will take a loss. But what I do works more than it does not. Therefore, I'm profitable as a trader. The high income part of it has to do with the fact that I know my system very well. And I know that XYZ number of times it's going to work. Therefore, I can risk a certain amount to make a certain amount of money that over the course of each week, month, and year, I will be at that point where I can pay myself a, a, over a six-figure income, okay? And we're going to talk about this and break it down more later. The 26-point golden gap rating system gives you an edge because it reads the price of the gap. And using technical analysis and advanced level pinpoints what stock to trade that day and in what direction. A big part of what I teach is how to trade things in the right direction. I think a lot of people lose money in the market because they simply do stuff in the wrong direction with the wrong timing. A uh, combination of direction and timing is you know, important. The high probability is in the quality and detail in the rating system. 26 points is an enormous amount of detail. It's a, it's a lot of things to look at. It takes about five to 10 minutes to rate one gap if you're new, and it takes less than five minutes once you become experienced with the system. If anyone has any questions, you can type them in the room. I'll see them in there, by the way, as well. So even though it's looking at a lot of things, you don't get overwhelmed about it, even if you're new, because it's still less than 10 minutes to look at one gap. And if you're in the live trading room with me, I rate them. I put the ratings in the room. 
And, and I, could, I could trade on the fly because I know everything in my head so much, but I still go through the process. Why? Because it gives me an edge to go through that process. Even though I've been doing it now for six years, when I go through my own point system, it helps to focus me. It helps to focus my brain on what I'm supposed to be doing. It helps me to see if I'm missing something. Have I missed something here? Am I getting it all correctly? Okay. Now we're going to talk about this example here in a little bit, but I want to just show you this was KBH, okay? This was a gap that actually happened that on the day of the gap, it didn't work. Now, we're going to go through this. The stock closed the night before up here at 16-something. This was back on the 23rd. The next day, it opened down here on the 24th on the next day, so the stock gap down. It actually was a good short, but it didn't work. If you shorted this on this day, you lost money. People always want to ask me about examples that didn't work. Here, I'm showing you one for the people that follow me. And for the new people, stay with what I'm trying to say here. So if you shorted this here, it didn't work. You take the loss. Boom. Okay. It did work the next day. And look what it did after the fact. Okay. So... It's about the probability of this one working many, many, many more times that it doesn't, and that if it doesn't work on the day, and it rates good that it should have worked, because sometimes things don't work, and this is why you have a risk amount. We'll talk about that later, too. You watch it the next day, and it worked, okay? And look what it did. Again, you could have done this for the day trade here the second day, and then as a swing and core trade down, okay? So this is not about perfection, and anyone tells you that there is such a thing that works 100% is wrong. It's about high probability. You're putting the odds in your favor, and you're not running away with yourself. You do what you're supposed to do, and if it doesn't work, you take the one loss, and you watch it the next day. The good thing about my system is with the entries and the exits, which I teach in the class, is that when the stock does work, which it does more than it doesn't, okay, the risk to reward pays for the one loss, for example, that you might take in this the one day it doesn't work. So that's how you make money, okay? Because a train should work. If you're risking $1, they should make three, okay? And they could make up to 10. They might make as little as two, okay? So three is an average, but they can go even more than that. But do you see how then it pays for the one loss? Now, let's get back to what I was saying here about why they're powerful. Because gaps are made by large institutional money. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. This is very practical. I mean, this is just this is just so common sense, it's not even funny. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very practical in my thought processes about what I do. And the reason these works is because professional gaps happen that play on and stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. What do I mean by that? Hedge funds, banks are taking positions in the market. And therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and then confirm the large money will flow with it. Why did this fail on the day? Who knows? Maybe day traders bought it thinking it was going to fill the gap. But guess what happened? The institutions came in the next day, pushed that sucker down, and it dropped like a brick. Okay. You will never beat the institutions. Your goal is not to do that. Your goal is to read what they're doing and play with it. Okay, and this is what my rating system teaches. So by having a formally to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and you play it or that it's going to come in. Okay, gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. All right? And this is a very common sense idea. I don't know why people do things in the market that are not common sense. I don't know why people do that. I think that people try to look for things because they're desperate for an edge. But you don't get the edge from doing things that don't make sense. Okay? You, you find something that makes sense. And then the edge comes from honing it down in the detail. That's, that's the edge, okay? You have to learn how to trade gaps before you can trade them, which means you can't just run out and do these things uh, because they do move very quickly. I'm going to show you the setups here in a little bit. And so you really have to know what you're doing. You have to learn what to look at and how to look at it in order to achieve the income results. It's like, it's like learning a different language. Gaps of, in and of themselves is a different language altogether. 
and it's one that a lot of people don't understand. Most of the stuff that's out there about gaps actually is incorrect, okay, which I learned the hard way when I first started out, by the way. And so I made, up, made it up myself, okay, just by process of doing it and trading live money in the market. And, and there's nothing like showing you whether something can work or not until you're doing it with live money, okay? You could trade in a demo for a year. It's not going to tell you that if anything works. You could say, well, I tracked this. No, you got to do it. There's nothing like doing it, okay? And that's why you have to learn it first before you do it. Now, let's look at what happened, what ended up happening with this one here. Uh, this nice move here in the KBH. Nice setup in here happened. Again, I'm looking for the gap. KBH is the stop ticker symbol, and in this case, I was looking to short it, okay? Nice short entry in here, and there it is. This is all that you need. If you had one of these, or whether you played this whole thing down, if you just had one, boom, like this every day, okay, you'd be a profitable trader. But you got to find this that's going to show you this to get this. And that's why the rating system is good. This is a one-minute chart. So I'm taking my entries in a one-minute chart. No, I was snapping my fingers. Does it sound like I'm hitting somebody? That was a snap. Uh, so anyways, I'm entering, entering in here, and you get the drop. And again, you have the targets and everything else you're looking at. Price is $15.69 for the entry. Risk is $0.09. Cents. Again, this is an advanced risk here. If you're new, you will start out with less than this. Your goal is to get up to the point of making size. Okay. Exit was 1530, but it did actually drop down to 1520-ish. You could have held it and made 700 more bucks with this size. Total profit 2730. Risk to reward is 4.3 times the amount risk was made in profit, turning $630 into 2730. That's a nice trade. If you took two to three trades a week where you made between $2,000 and $2,500, that's, that's real money. That's an income, okay? So do you consider making $27.30 in one day in one trade a high-paying income strategy? The answer is yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Because you chunk it out. It's not about taking one massive trade where you take five, 10,000 shares of something and it runs a dollar. Could you do that? Yeah. Does it sometimes happen? Yeah. Does it happen every week? No. You have to take a set amount of risk that is similar on every trade, and the stop isn't the same on every trade. So you've got to size yourself right, okay? So that if you lose on the first day of the KBH and the second day goes on to set up, you're up between the two trades, all right? Again, it's about knowing what to look for, honing it down, and focusing. But you see, if you could have days like this, how the money starts to roll together and you've got a month going on and, and you're making real money. Ultimately, trading this for income. All right, it's for income, and it's it's one of these things where you're focused on what to do, but the goal is the income. If you're trading now and you're not making money, then I suggest you reevaluate the strategy you're trading or what you are doing. Maybe what you're doing works and your strategy is is terrible. Maybe you have great discipline. Maybe you are great at reading charts. You have good basic technical analysis skills, uh, and you actually are a very disciplined trader but the strategy that you're doing is terrible and there's no way you could possibly make the kind of money that you want to make trading that strategy all right it doesn't work enough in the market uh it doesn't set up enough times it doesn't set up every day and you just can't get the momentum moves on in every month all right you got to start to look at this stuff because ultimately you're doing this for income and it's visible results that count are you up at the end of the week are you up at the end of the month are you up at the end of the year visible income making $2,700 in a trade is visible income. That's something that makes a difference in your account. And I don't care if you have $25,000 in your account or $40,000 in an account. You make almost three grand in a day, you get up the next morning, you look at it, you say, oh yeah, there it is, okay? It's visible income. And it's about the income generation over and over and over as you do it day after day after day. So what do you consider high income? Uh, let's just, I'm using the United States, okay, because I live in the United States. But in 2011, the median income of the U.S. households was $50,000 a year, okay? This was in 2011. I took this off of Wikipedia, okay? That was the average American income that most people made. If you break that down per month, okay, it comes out to be a little over $4,000 a month. 
which comes out to be what? A thousand bucks a week? Which comes out to be what? A day. Trading, that means if you made $200 a day or a thousand bucks a week, you're making the medium average income trading. And the funny thing is most people aren't even making that. But do you know if you start out making that, in the first couple weeks you're trading, guess what? You're going to be on your way to making more than that pretty soon because you're doing well. Because you're making the median of annual household income. And most people are not, okay, that are traders. So, you know, you have to start somewhere. This is where I'm going with this. This is the point. The national average wage index for 2011 was about 42, close to 43 something, okay? The index is 3.13% higher than the index for 2010. So, the federal minimum wage provisions are contained in the Fair Labor Standards Act. The federal minimum wage was $7.25 an hour. They've recently upped it. But do you know that people still are not even making $50,000 a year or $43,000 a year? They've increased the minimum wages. Many traders are not making even, I'm talking about the U.S. again, okay, because we have a minimum wage here. Most traders are not even making average American income minimum wages. If you look at your trading results in the last 90 days, okay, break it down and see if you are even making $7.25 an hour. And then ask yourself, where do you see yourself in a year? In five years from now, if you continue to do the same thing you're doing. Or do you have to make some changes? Do you have to reevaluate the way that you're trading? Do you have to learn a different strategy? Do you have to do something new? Okay? Because you don't want to waste a year, five years of your life doing something that is not paying you. Because ultimately the reason that you're trading is for income. When you get to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization that your life is your own creation. You are the one in charge of your life. You and only you. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and make more money, you'll be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better. Sometimes it's just about opening up our eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life. Many people are not in a position to do this because you're so caught up in your day-to-day -day things with your trading. But I'm asking you to do this. Not for me. You're doing this for yourself. You've got to evaluate what's going on with you. I can't do that. You have to do that. Because ultimately it's you. You are the one that's pressing the buttons every day when you're trading. You need to know if what you're doing is actually something that works or not. Do you have conviction in your strategy? I have a high level of conviction in my strategy. So much so that I'm teaching people it. And those people are becoming successful. And guess what? That's increasing my own conviction in my own strategy every day that I train, every day that I teach a class. Sometimes that means learning a new training methodology or a new career path. For me, it became trading the market and trading golden gaps using my own checklist and rating system. Being successful is empowering. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if you're a woman. Although I was talking about this the other day in the training room, I actually think there's more pressure on men in society to make a certain amount of money, okay, than there is on women. Now, women do want to be successful more so now than ever. However, it's always out there that men are supposed to be the providers, taking care of the family, taking care of the spouse. And it's not, you know, uh, by chance that most of the people that are trading the market are men. Most of the people that I have taught are men. Most of the people that are trading are men, okay? When you have a full-time job and you decide you want to trade the market, if you become successful at it, I, can, I cannot even describe in words. There aren't words that exist for me to describe how self-empowering that is. There's, I can do something that most people on the planet cannot do and will never know how to do. And I know how to do it, and I'll know how to do it forever. When you are setting out to learn something, you got to get good, okay? If you are doing something that does not work, that is not making you money, then you're not getting good, okay? And it may not be you. It might be the strategy, okay? And it's just what you're doing. And it has nothing to do with you, okay? And that's why you have to take a hard look and start to evaluate. It is so empowering to be able to trade the stock market successfully because it is something that everyone is interested in, even people that don't trade. Everyone has an interest in it. Every person I meet in New York City, everyone is interested in the stock market. Whether they're going to end up being traders or not, are they just interested, they're interested, or they have extra money in a 401k or whatever. To be able to do it well, 
you, you would just, the sky is the limit for you. You would have opportunities abound. So you got to keep that in mind, okay? Now, the system I use is called the Golden Gap Checklist. It uses a 26-point checklist to train. It is a rating system, and the rating system looks at a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Big moves on the day, early confirmation of my bias in the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m., and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk to reward, okay, which is one of the reasons why it's a profitable strategy. The philosophy behind the Golden Gap system is to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders, which is what you're choosing to go with. You want to be with those people, so you get paid. To make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame on the one-minute chart, this is another uh, thing that I teach in the class, and that has a very, very high degree of focus and accuracy. Why? Because I'm trading on a one-minute chart. There's only 60 seconds in each one-minute bar, okay? So there has to be a lot of accuracy in what you're doing. Using the daily chart to make the direction for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction. And using the one-minute chart allows for good risk-to-reward trades with accuracy. The ultimate reward they're free to trade is really financial freedom. It's happiness. The money is just a vehicle to that, okay? So why do you consider a high income pain strategy? Let's look at some more examples here of gaps. Now, I said I was going to talk about a bullish gap. This was a bullish gap that happened, actually. This happened back in September. This was Nike, okay? Nike actually closed the day before around $80. And the next day, Nike opened up here all the way at 88 something, okay? This is a gap up. It is a golden gap, or what I would call a golden gap per my system, because it was telling me that Nike was a good gap to do what? To go long, okay? So per the system, this would rate as a buy. Now, if you look at what a lot of traders mostly do with these things, they look to do what is called a fade, where they would fade the gap, where they would try to short the stock because the stock had gapped up so much that it looked like it was extended because it was up over $8 from the night before, okay? But per my system that told me that that was not the right thing to do, per my rating system, when the gap rates 20 points or more, I can buy this. So I would look to go long Nike. And Nike had a nice long entry in here. Nike also went to the target. Now, Again, I said earlier I like to short, preferably to going long, but longs work. They just take longer. That's why I like shorts. Short, shorts work in shorter time. Longs work in longer time. That's the reality, okay? Nike went to the Target, though, but it took 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Target was 90 bucks. Here's the setup. Price of the entry was 88.37. Risk is 27 cents. This is really, really good for a stock like Nike at this price point, okay? On 2,000 shares, you're risking $540. I always get this question, do I need XYZ amount of money to take a position cash? No, you don't. You need the buying power, okay? So, for example, if you wanted to buy 2,000 shares of Nike, the cost of the stock is $88.37, you would need $176,740 in buying power. That's not in cash. That's in buying power in a stock account. Now, this is an expensive stock. I don't always trade things that are uh, close to $100 price point or over, but sometimes I will. Most of the stocks I trade are between $5 and I'd say 65 ish or 70 ish But every once in a while, something is a good gap, and it's, it's a little bit more expensive in price. You could just take less size if you don't have 176 in BP. Then you just take 500 shares or 1,000 shares, whatever. The trade's going to be the same. But it's not that you're risking the whole buying power amount. You're risking the amount that you're taking in the size position with the place you're putting the stock. This is how you end up being profitable because if you take a different amount of risk monetarily, not the buying power, the position size of the monetary risk, if it's too different and varies every other day, your results are not going to be consistent. Okay. Because one day you might risk 500 and the stock may go on to, might not work, it might fail. And the next day you end up risking 200 and it goes on to work huge and you didn't take enough. Okay, So it has to be the same or close to the same. Anyways, this went to the target 
and he could have made 3260 on this trade. A six hour trade, we understand until three o'clock in the afternoon. Said it was in the morning. Again, longs take longer. Still valid in the rating system, still valid for the entry, still valid for the targets, did everything right. You just had to wait it out, but you were never down. You were never down, you took it, and you were patient, and you did it. And a lot of people like long, so I'm going over this because the market's very, very bullish. And so I'm going over long today. But you could have made 3260 on the street in Nike. Again, this is on 2,000 shares. What if you could only take 1,000? You would have needed 88,037 for to do it, okay? You would have needed half the amount of BP, and then you would have made half the amount of money, okay? Still a nice trade, 1,600 bucks if you would have made half the amount. Still a 6R trade, still a 6R trade, all right? So that means for every dollar you risk, you made six bucks. So again, do you consider making 3260 in one day a high end campaign strategy? Yes. What if you could only afford to take half that a thousand shares of Nike? What if you only have like 89,000 in BP in your account? You still would make 1600 in this trade. $1,600 in a day, I'll take it, okay? That's good money. That chunks it out. Two, three trades a week like that. You're up four or five grand a week, you see? Now, there was another one in here. PBR, let's talk about the shorts because obviously, like I said earlier, I like the short. PBR was another gap down. PBR had two trades in it. One, two. PBR had two quick trades in here in the first 30 minutes of the day as a short, okay? Let's look at it very quick. And it was just one of these weird ones where it went to the targets just very, very quickly. Price of the first century is 14 bucks. Risk here, do you see this risk here is telling you how much you're risking. This tells you I can take 4,000 shares of this, all right, if you have the buying power. This is cheaper, you're just taking more. Risk is similar, or thereabouts. First exit, boom, you make 800 bucks. It's 800 bucks, you gotta get out, it's at the target. Price of the second entry, 13.95, risk is less, 10 cents. Okay, you can take a little bit more, risk the same. Exit, boom. And this doesn't look like much, but you could have made $2,000 on taking two quick trades in this. Let's go back and look at it. In, out, rally, in, out, boom, done. That's it, you're done for the day. And if you only would have done this, you would have made 1,200, that's still money, okay? Again, it's all in the exactitude of this, all in the, in the actually finding the right thing to watch knowing the entries, knowing the targets, knowing the no, exits, knowing, knowing all of these things in here that tells you it's a good trade. Again, do you consider making $2,000 in one stock symbol in one day a good trade? Yeah, it's that's a high income, okay? Again, it's about chunking it out in the week and the month where you're tallying it up and you're pulling together a, a month that's profitable. Again, way more than what people are making in the medium income, way more than $50,000 a year. It's just in one strategy, one strategy, one thing. Whether you do long or short, which you can do either way. So the Golden Gap strategy has a great risk to reward payout, which creates the high income potential. Why? Because some stocks actually have very large moves. And I am really showing those examples today, okay? Because I'm, again, I'm being conservative here. I'm being realistic. I want people to do a, an overview. Even if you are wishing that you had days where you had uh, 10 R's or 8 R's or 15 R's in some trades and you see you think something's going to go like that and it doesn't. It doesn't mean you still can't make money. It's about getting the exact stock to watch each day to get the right pick. It's about getting the right entry in it and to get out to make the money to book it. Okay. It ultimately, it comes down to consistency. And for me, I am extremely consistent. I'm only doing one strategy. And I'm mostly only doing it one direction. And every once in a blue moon, you know, I'll see a good long like Nike or some of the other things I've called this year. But for the most part, I do shorts. And so I'm even very consistent in the direction I'm trading stuff. And I like shorts, like I said, just because they go very fast. And if you think about the fact that I've been shorting in a bullish market and making money, it's, it's, it's great. Okay, that really, really... Uh, so it should say something to you about the fact that I, I know what I'm talking about, about analyzing gaps. And it's just my personality. I'm very impatient. I like to go short. But if I was going long and could sit all day in something till 3, 4 o'clock, you know, some of these longs have gone to some crazy targets in the last three months, specifically the summer. And the market's still higher. 
So what is a good risk reward payoff, three to one or more? Okay. With targets of eight to 10, getting to the dream target, which does happen and is going to happen this fall, it's going to happen this month, it's going to happen between now and the end of the year. Why? Because it's earnings season in two days and there's going to be a bazillion gaps out there. How are you going to know which one is going to be good? How are you going to know which one's going to work? An earnings season, it's fall, it's busy, everyone's to do everything. This market has been tough to read, people. If you don't need that market for your strategy, you've been getting chopped silly, silly. Okay? Everyone thinks the market's coming in. It's not. It's not coming in. The market is higher. Okay? So, I'm going to trade this fall, and I'm going to continue to do what I do, and I'm going to have a thousand things every day. Why? Because I have a way to hone it down in the right thing, and I only need one pick. I only need one pick. But you can trade multiple things, and on the days where there's two, three good gaps, you can do the ball. What creates such a good risk reward payout? Precise entries combined with gap momentum. Precise, precise, precise. Okay? The golden gap strategy consistently directs you to the power source in a stock to determine the correct directional bias. And I think this is one of these things where you've got to know if you're shorting a stock or you are buying a stock to do it. And the golden gap strategy uses a rating system which pinpoints opportunity for you to enter before the big move happens. You've got to know that so you can take the entry to one minute chart. You have to know. So how much to risk per trade to make over six figures a year or around thereabouts? On average, to make 100K per year as an annual income trading gap is a normal risk unit of $250 per trade is suggested. Okay, just to give you an idea here of what you should be risking. Once a trader is experienced with the system and good at holding to targets, even using a $200 risk unit could achieve this goal. This is a conservative figure, which means if you were very good, you could make this risking less. For a long, long time, I actually had my risk at 150. I, I because I was working on all of this. I was trying to get good at doing it and really getting the detail into it. So I just kept my risk at 150 bucks for a long time. So you don't need to risk some crazy amount here if you're good. But I would say to people, 250 is probably good because if you make two R's and you're risking 250, that's 500 bucks. And on many days, you'll make three or more. Okay. So here's an example. Five hundred dollars a day comes to what? Twenty five hundred a week. One thirty a year. Three hundred dollars a day is fifteen hundred a week, or seventy eight thousand a year. That's pretty good. And that's more than the median amount of average income. Three hundred dollars a day. If you make three hundred dollars a day, just think about this. If you make three hundred dollars a day day trading, that you are making more than the median annual income in the United States. <laughs> that's seventy eight grand a year. That's if you break it down, it's only fifteen hundred bucks a week. You can make fifteen hundred bucks a week in one trade. But what happens is that many people lose focus. They're so excited about the money. They do too many different stock symbols, too many different strategies. They're all around, all over the place, and then then they don't have the results that they want to see. When you break it down per year to month to week to day, you can see it's completely realistic to actually trade for a living. The problem is that people are not focused enough on the goals. Again, visible income production, but you got to have a system to follow to keep you on track to do that, which is one strategy, one thing that you're doing. On some days it won't work, but guess what? If you only lose one hour, two hours in one day, and you do well, then the other days you're still up, okay? $1,500 a week is so reasonable. It's so reasonable to make as a trader. And, and I'm not talking about that you need even, a, you know, the kind of BP I was showing you on Nike. I, you know, you could make even more. If you have 200 grand in buying power, you could be doing a lot better. To be able to make $39,000 a year, though, if you made 150 a day, working part-time hours is good. And to be able to make $130,000 a year, working part-time hours a day is great. Why? Because these trades, most of them go in the morning. Again, I'm liking the shorts. The longs, you have to hold longer, but most of them work in the morning. I was talking to someone last week. I said, do you want to lose or do you want to make money? You have to decide, okay? Do you want to lose or do you want to make money? Is it better to lose or make a little? Now, what do I mean by a little? 150 bucks a day. 150 bucks a day, you're making 40 grand a year. That's the medium annual income or thereabouts, okay? But if you can prove to yourself that you're doing that, you will be able to step it up to seventy-eight thousand a year. You'll be able to step it up to three hundred dollars a day. You have to make one fifty a day before you can make three hundred. You have to make three hundred a day before you can make five hundred. 
You have all the time in the world to make money if you can do it. Why? Because so many people do not know how to do it, and so many people cannot do it, and so many people will never, ever, ever be able to do it. The good thing is that once you learn how to do it, you know, just like me, I know, I know how to do it. No one can ever take that away from me. And if you learn how to do it, no one can take it away from you. So whether you make $150 every day for the next year or $300 a day for the next year, who cares? If you can make $150 a day every day for the next year and forty dollars a year, keep your day job, Make part-time income, make 40 grand a year. Do the gaps, do the strategy, do it. Prove to yourself you can do it. You can step it up and start risking more than to make $300 a day. Or maybe someone will hire you as a job and go work at a trading desk somewhere in some, some hedge fund. Because most people are not prof profitable traders. So to set yourself apart, you need to prove to yourself, to yourself, that you can do it, okay? So it's better to make 150 a day than lose, okay? It's so much better. Once you know how to make money in the market, you can set your own course. This is what I was talking about earlier. There's a lot of different things you could do. Even at this town alone here, gosh, the opportunities abound. And in many, many big cities across the country. Today's world is not the same as 25 years ago or 10 years ago or even five years ago before the bank bailout, which still looms over everyone. Banks still remember that. Why do you think banks don't want to lend money? Yet? Still, still now they don't want to. Because they remember what happened. What we think is a secure job today may be gone tomorrow. Look at the world economy and the decisions that lawmakers are making for you. Do you want to create your own future or do you want someone else to determine it? I want to create my own future. I am creating my own future. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking, and it may not even matter to our employer in the end if a company can't keep you on. If a company has poor management, they might fail. And it has nothing to do with you. Or your industry might fail. And it has nothing to do with you. You are a skilled person with a great mind, and you can work for yourself in the market. You can create your own job security. You can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and make money trading. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap System. And, and again, as I was saying, I have so much conviction in what I do because of the consistency I've seen for myself and the people that I've mentored. The more often you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself and the more conviction you will have in your own abilities to trade well. Which what happens is a lot of people lack as time has been going on and they're not seeing the results and they're losing, then they lose confidence in the market. But you can't. You have to have confidence in the market or otherwise it's not going to pay you. One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap strategy. This conviction will help you produce positive results. Staying positive might be a challenge for some traders, but it's a requirement for success. This is a requirement for success for anyone who wants to earn a high paying income in any field. You have to be positive when you are trading. Positive in the P&L, positive in your brain, positive in your mind and your thought process. If you are out there coming to every webinar that Kevin does and going to every training room trial in the world and you have a negative attitude and you are not positive, you set your own course down a road to lose in the market. You've got to believe it can be done and you need to be positive with the people you're communicating with, even someone like me that you don't know, okay? I can tell right away when I talk to people that come to me or talk, call me or, or, or email me if they're positive or negative. You must be positive. Talk about giving yourself an edge. If you're not positive that this can work, do you think you're going to have an edge? You're going into a trade and you're taking a trade in KBH. Okay. I'm going into that trade positive and I have 100% conviction and I'm taking that trade and I'm shorting that stock and I have the conviction it's going to work as a short. And I believe the market can pay me. And then you are going into trade, let's say I'm just using an example, you're not sure, you don't know, you're 50-50, you don't have 100% conviction, you're not sure if it's a long, it's a short, you don't know what to do, you just take it, then you kill it, then you take it again, then you kill it, then you take it again, okay? You're trading against someone like me, uh -uh. and your attitude's negative because you don't even believe you can make money in the market. What do you think your results are going to be? Every time you go into a trade, Think about me. I'm a strong person. This lecture is strong today, okay? I'm being honest with people. Think about the fact that I could be against your trade. You go take something, you're trying to short Nike, I'm going to buy Nike, I'm against you, okay? You got to think about that. I could be buying that stock where your stop is, okay? 
The Golden Gap is a method designed by a trader for herself, which is me. I designed my system for me, which is one of the reasons it works. Every time I do something to reach the next level, I share with my students everything that I teach is stuff that I do myself for myself, and that's one of the reasons why my class is so good. The class is called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system, and the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist so you have one pick, and you can have more than one pick. And you can tally up the picks. I usually rate the picks. I say this is a top pick, this is a second pick, this is a third pick. Okay? I number them now. The Golden Gap 26-point checklist is what you go through every morning. You just check it off. Boom, boom, boom. You tally the total. If you're new, it could take you 8, 10 minutes to do it. If you're not new, you've been doing it for a while, it should be less than 5. The Golden Gap course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to train each day. The course also teaches students how to play the stock on the day. The course teaches students chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And I was saying this also uh, about a week ago, too, where I think a lot of people do not understand how to read support and resistance correctly, and many people get that from my course, too. It is a complete system. It teaches you everything you know how to day trade. I do teach other classes I'll talk about in a, in a little bit, but the Golden Gap class teaches you how to day trade. Everything you know with the rating system, how to take the entries, the exits, the targets, everything you know in order to day trade gaps. The class is a two-day course. That's it. It's just two days. Retakes are free. The class is online, and it's a course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks at a professional bearish gap. Someone asked me about the longs. You can flip the points to go long. It's October 11th and 12th, which is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $29.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com to sign up. And then I also teach this course called the Trends Course. This is about longer-term trading and trends. It's the end of the month, 28th and 29th from 12 to 4. Cost of this is $9.99. And you can do this if you want to learn how to read trends and stock charts for long-term. It's a good combination with the GAP class. So I'm doing a special. You get almost $500 off if you want to do them both. So the special is $34.99 for the Golden Gap class and the Trends class. They're both this month in October. You could do the day trades then and then take the longer term trades in the Trends class, which you'll learn about the longer term uh, read on things. And remember what I was saying. Really empower yourself in your own world to trade. This is extremely important. It's one of my biggest messages to people. And it's something that I hope resonates with someone, some of you. Learn how to trade to change your life because it definitely will. It definitely will. It 100% will. Because many people are not successful in the market. And once you start making money, it is hugely empowering. All right. Any questions from anyone? Any questions from anyone about anything today? Kathy just plopped in the room. I was trying to look through to see if there was any questions, but I didn't see any so far. Does anyone have questions about anything I talked about today? How's everybody doing? Everybody's quiet as mouses. <laughs> All right. I can type. Do you need me to type? Here. Here's my email. If anyone has any questions, you can email me right here. If you want to try out of the trading room, you can email me too. Only serious people need apply. <laughs> If you are coming to the training room and you really are serious about doing this, email me. I'll send you a trial. If you're not serious, it's just going to waste your time and mine. But I love serious people. I love it when I can teach someone to, to learn how to trade well from being someone that was negative and to turning them into positive. It, that's rewarding for me too. All right, we have a couple more minutes here. Why don't we do this? I'm going to plop off the PowerPoint, Kathy. Let's look at the market. Let's look at the market here. I've got a couple more minutes before you turn it off. I'm going to turn the actual sound off and my PowerPoint for one minute I'm gonna bring up the market. 